It's Move 47, it's the fucking underground. In today's video, we have an interesting topic. I made a web chart simplifying how SoundCloud rap got to where it is today. And I have to reiterate the word simplified because this is extremely simplified to the point where this list potentially could have went on forever. There's tons of tons of artists in between these people. I made it to the point where it's easy for you viewers to understand where I'm coming from. So here on the top left, we have Speaker Knockers. Um, Speaker Knockers was a very, very important person with the plug wave. Um, he created this candy sound. He created a sound where people haven't really heard anything like it at the time people heard these polo boy shoddy beats and speaker knockers killing it it was really really interesting people have never heard anything like it so this started a whole new wave that speaker knockers created speaker knockers is a real pioneer in the scene therefore i didn't even connect speaker knockers to asap and smoke purple or anybody else because he himself at the time was extremely different next we have asap rocky um asap rocky put on this underground sound to the mainstream level very 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 first breakthrough with the modern underground style it brought this entire sound to the mainstream level and this started a whole chain reaction rappers upon rappers with the asap influence were popping up in the underground scene and this started a uh wave that is still seen today so asap rocky was a extremely important figure with the underground sound and how it got here today next we have smoke perp man um without smoke perp i don't think there'll be an asap rocky and if there was an asap rocky it would be way many years later smoke perp created all of this smoke perp was creating trends that we are doing now smoke perp is the sole creator without smoke perp um this sound may not even be here right now you wouldn't be making music in any in this type of fashion without smoke perp so smoke perp was definitely putting in for the underground back in 2008 um i saw some videos man he was rocking bb belts back in 09 repping the 666 did this, all this devil worshiping he was doing that back in 08 um it's really really crazy how smoke perp was doing everything that we were doing all the goth shit he was doing this back in 09 it is highly interesting that this guy was one of the sole creators of everything and chief keith is in the middle of this list because he is a influence that everybody messed with no matter what type of music you like if you like young thug atlanta sound music if you like speaker knockers everybody loved chief keith making him the staple of inspiration a lot of uh sounds that we hear now probably will be here but it wouldn't have that the the dread the short dreads the um that ignorant swag you feel what i'm saying chief keith were popping zans you got the kids thinking zans are cool and chief keith was doing molly that the molly was cool most especially the lean man chief keith that that lean was cool everybody that lean was cool you feel what i'm saying so chief keith really but a lot of trends that still affects us today next we have gucci man um i really was never a big fan of gucci man this is kind of a older underground guy type of vibe but gucci man was really important man um with gucci man having that ignorant style it inspired chief keith to be who he is you feel what i'm saying gucci man inspired young doug to have his style gucci man inspired smoke perp to have certain styles you know what i mean gucci man at the time was the chief keith you feel what i'm saying gucci man was the chief keith before chief keith so gucci man definitely definitely was a big figure who inspired people who you look up to so gucci man is very very important next we have young thug next we have is young thug um young thug is as important as speaker knockers young thug really really changed the game when young thug came out everybody thought he was gay people people thought he was crazy wearing a girl clothes people really thought when he dyed his hair he was gay i'll say the biggest creation young thug ever made was little uzi i'm not saying without young thug it would be no little uzi but young thug and chief keith little uzi if they had a baby it would be little uzi i'm 100 percent sure everybody 
who makes different music and is popping right now listened to Young Thug as a child or when they were younger. That's just how it goes. Young Thug is by far one of the most influential people that um, touched the mic. During this time, man, SoundCloud was already a thing. You know, Smoke Perp, ASAP, Speaker Knockers, like Chief Keef, everybody was already on SoundCloud. But when Playboy Cardi touched SoundCloud, this is when SoundCloud changed. The whole culture of underground music changed once Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi when they touch SoundCloud. This is when making rare music and uh, finding snippets and leaks and wanting music from these people. This is when um, the game changed. Uh, music at this point was more than music. Um, music at this point was you. It was the swag you bought. It was how you dressed. Music was getting serious. This wasn't just listening to Chief Keef. You feel what I'm saying with your friends? This is when your whole persona is starting to change about you. When Cardi touched, touched SoundCloud, this is when people wanted to be cool. You got Cardi over here dropping one song a month and people going crazy. You got Cardi dropping snippets and people going nuts, going crazy. This is when the vibe of Cardi's music is directly influencing people around his age and people younger. This is who people are. Are starting to look up to SoundCloud and this is when kids are starting to turn to SoundCloud to display their talents I really call this wave the 2014 2015 2016 wave this is when everybody is going nuts and everybody wants to be a rapper and want to be Cardi this leads to a whole nother subgenre of SoundCloud music um you start to see a lot of people influenced directly by Cardi with the plug with that simple plug sound you feel what i'm saying even some people at the time uh being up there with cardi you feel what i'm saying and that's really hard to do it at that time with him being a god on soundcloud people were getting up there with cardi such as d savage and i heard um they were already in a group you feel what i'm saying d savage uno but they were all together at one point thousand banfani and also people start having fun with it this is where clout comes in play and all people cared about is clout then we move on to lil uzi with lil uzi coming up man you know cardi and uzi i'll say cardi got a buzz a little bit tiny bit earlier than lil uzi and then once lil uzi came in play this is where SoundCloud started going nuts. This is where the peak level of SoundCloud that even modern day cannot reach. You got Love is Rage dropping with hit after hit after hit. You got people wanting to dye their hair like Lil Uzi. You got people wanting to be Lil Uzi. You got worshipers. Devil worshiping comes in play too. This is where the 666, everybody. Now you got Lil Uzi taking it to another level, making it deeper than music. And he inspires other people who have a cult-like fan base who comes out very, very soon. This makes us move on to um, Little Peep and XXX Tentacion. And I know what you guys are thinking, how the hell is XXX Tentacion, Little Peep connected Lil Uzi? Let me explain to you guys how they are directly connected to Little Uzi. I just spoke on rappers starting to make things deeper than music. XXX got famous. He was he been he was been rapping, but he got famous during the Little Uzi era, 2017. 2016 2017 is when he started part popping off so when little uzi started repping the 666 all the time you feel what i'm saying making it on a mainstream level you know we got perp been doing that but you got little uzi doing it on a level where it's getting millions and millions of views and it's cool you feel what i'm saying you got people who are looking at his blueprint of how to get a cult following xxx coming up started to have a cult following with his beliefs behind music and his stunts off of music xxx believed in a lot of controversial things same with little peep um they did the same as lil uzi also they painted their nails um they believed that what they believe in you feel what i'm saying and they were not scared to believe in it and it got their fans also to believe in what they believe in you feel what i'm saying so with that being said this is when music starts to make a uh demonic 
turn. I'm not saying it in a bad way because I know people really believe that. Deeper connection with the music. They want that cult feeling. So you have little peep over here, man, putting the uh log the symbols in their music videos you get x putting the symbols in his music video rappers putting 666 tatter on their face you feel what i'm saying this is when things are getting deeper you have these basically cult leaders dying and now they're super famous than they were before it's getting out of hand this is when music is getting deeper and deeper and deeper like i said so this gets us to how what we are today and now we're gonna go to the left side back to summer 